selfie camera 4k 30 fps on both i like how much wider the field of view is on pixel however i think the colors are more natural on samsung but let's compare selfies now <laughs> Maximum zoom on both. Google Pixel 8a can zoom in up to times five. We have times 10 on Galaxy A55. But let's switch back to ultra wide angle and take some pictures now. Now I'm going to check on video quality stabilization. This is ultra wide angle, 4K, 30 FPS on both. A bit of a quick before it starts to rain. It was actually nice for two days, maybe three, and now it's gonna be raining for another week. Welcome to the UK. Well, never mind. Let's carry on with the review. It's great because I can switch between the lenses during recording. Hopefully my dogs will not poo again <laughs> when I review. Okay, they're doing okay. So let me check on stabilization. Colors looking very similar. I like the Damage Range. Happy day. Switch to times two. This is just a digital crop in. I like the quality on Pixel a little bit better here, but let's have a look at stabilization. Okay, I think they're both doing a pretty good job here. But let's take more pictures now. As you can see, it's not very bright. These are the displays. You know, Google Pixel has maximum up to 2000 nit brightness. However, it's only in HDR content. So outdoor, you cannot see much different between those two devices. This is the other side. Pixel is smaller, 6.1 versus 6.6 .6 on Galaxy A55. So this is the quality when you get a little bit closer to your subject, times to record it in 4K 30 FPS. This is the focus, looking pretty good in my opinion on both. I really like the fact that Google Pixel 8a has 4K 60fps, which I'm using now. Sadly, this option is not available on Samsung Galaxy A55. So this is stabilization. I am heading back home before it starts to rain. Uh, I will be doing some macro in a minute. There is a macro dedicated camera on Samsung, that 5 megapixel since uh, it is okay i wouldn't really recommend using it you'd be better off go times two and then you get some decent results uh, but let's check on that macro now I really like the fact that Pixel can record 4K 60fps and I'm using this now, this is times 2. Sadly it's only 4K 30fps on Samsung. But well, I'm gonna have a look at the slow motion and then take some portrait photography. Let's go. Love. 
Selfie camera at night, I have to say, I really enjoy that ultra wide angle, the wider field of view on the Google Pixel 8a. This is Samsung, this is stabilization. What do you think? Which one is going to be better? Please remember the Pixel is a little bit more expensive. However, when I was looking for some deals, if you are living in the UK, you might get for a very similar price. Well, let's take some selfies now. Now time to check on stabilization and video quality at night. Still recording 4K 30 FPS on both. Again, guys, really hard for me to tell on those small screens which one is actually doing better at night. Uh, but let me switch to the main sensor now. Let's have a look at the stabilization. Let's go times two and take some pictures now. I definitely like the fact that Pixel can record 4K 60fps. Sadly, this option is not available on Samsung Galaxy A55. I have to say, both night photography shots are really great on any of those devices, so I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm gonna move on to some portrait photography, and I really like the fact that we've got 1.7 and times two that focal length, which is more natural for portrait photography. I think the Times 1 is just a bit too wide on Samsung. But you let me know your thoughts now. No surprise, we've got rain again. But that's okay, both phones support IP67 water resistance, so that should not be a problem. But going back to the camera, I like that dual mode video on Samsung. Also, the color accuracy is better on Samsung in my opinion, especially at night. I also like the fact that we have a pro video mode, which is not available on Pixel, however, Pixel will give you more options in terms of video. You've got 4K 60 FPS, which is not available on Samsung. Also, portrait photography is better. And you've got the raw file for photography, if you want to bring that to the next level. But what is your opinion, guys? I was actually editing the whole video with Samsung, which is less powerful than Pixel. And then you remember, Samsung is a little bit cheaper, but also you know you've got expandable storage on samsung and we can talk about other things like wireless charging that is available on pixel but remember this is a camera comparison let me know your thoughts and i'll catch you in the next video cheers